Okay, here we are in front of the stove again. And yesterday, yesterday we cleaned up this nice old bean pot. There you see, it's got the three legs on the bottom. That's a nice little pot, and that thing was a mess. It was filthy. Mice had been in it. it had about an inch of mouse nest in the bottom. Lots of corrosion, and put coals in it and kept rolling it next to the fire. We cooked that baby down real good. And what we did is uh, to get it out, I rolled it out into that Dutch oven. And I was able to carry it out with the Dutch oven. There's, hi Vinny. There's little Vinny. Good Vinny. What a good dog. Anyway, rolled that out. And uh, we've got uh, another pot to do. And you can see, you see the crud on there. This has these been sitting out in a storage shed for decades. And here's the pot that's going to get cleaned up next. And you can see the crud in there. It's really nasty. And we've got a nice pile of coals here. So it's going to roll it right over. Right there, start cooking that. Start cooking that pot. And I'm going to do this one. Go. Got the lid in there. Nice pile of coals, and uh, I'll put another chunk of wood in to get you know to keep the fire going. And we'll cook that up next. Got the, got the draft open pretty well. There we go. Okay, got another one cleaning up in the stove. Gonna take this out to the kitchen. We're going to, uh, oops, I see our, our microphone pin right there is hanging down. <laughs> yeah, this, if I zoom a bit, if I zoom a bit, I get rid of that. There we go. Okay. And the next step is to clean these up with uh, chain mail in the kitchen sink, a little soap, a little chain mail. We're gonna rub them clean. Here you can see the inside of that pot we worked on, and uh, now we got to scrub it up. Anyway, I thought you might enjoy seeing this one. This is an old-time waffle iron, and uh, of course this this goes on top of a cook stove where you can take the plates out and have the fire, you know, right there. Anyway, this goes on an old-timey wood or coal cook stove, and the waffle iron goes in there. See, this is a Stover. Of course, Stover was made in Freeport, Illinois. And they also made gas engines. So, it's kind of a historical little piece. And I think it's all, you see there's, there's your, it makes your waffle prints. Anyway, so, put your, put your batter in. over after it's cooked long enough to do the other side. Anyway, we'll clean that up. That won't work on a on an electric stove at all. It would work on a I guess it'd work on a gas stove. But uh, we got an electric stove in the kitchen so we we'll have to put this on the camp stove or the LP hot plate to use it. And you see here Susan Susan has a nice selection of iron skillets. Clean them up, oil them, warm them up good. And yeah, we like our iron skillets. There's a lid. She we clean that up the same way. They look real good after you clean them up and oil them. So, okay.